Welcome to my Gling.ai review. Let me ask you a question. Are you tired of spending endless hours editing your videos? Today, I've got something just for you, Gling.ai. And this software promises to transform raw videos into captivating content effortlessly. My name is James, and I want to review this because like you, I've been frustrated by the long, tedious process of video editing. And before we begin a review, I do wanna let you know that they come with the ability to test them out for free, and you can do that by clicking the link in the description because why waste time when you can let AI do the heavy lifting for you? Now, Gling.ai offers some fantastic features designed to make your life easier, as you can see in front of you. First up, it removes bad takes, which means you can say goodbye to all those awkward moments. Then there are the AI captions, ensuring your videos are accessible and engaging without the extra work. And don't forget about the ability to cut silences and filler words. You can keep your audience hooked from start to finish with a plethora of other features as well, as shown on the screen. And unlike other tools, Gling.ai ensures your videos are polished and professional with minimal effort on your your part. So let's dive into how Gling.ai works. Here's the dashboard, clean, intuitive, and very easy to navigate. You upload your footage, you change around some settings, and let the AI handle the rest. It's really that simple. And yes, of course, there's gonna be some edits that you need to make, but Gling.ai is gonna do the bulk of the heavy lifting for you, and that's always a good thing. Allow me to show you how it actually works. As you can see right here, you're gonna want the raw file. Supported file extensions include MP4, MOV, MKV, and well, you can just read the rest right here. I'm gonna simply upload the raw video file that I have right here. Give me one second. All right, and so here we are. This is gonna be for a review I did separately. So I'm just gonna name this like right seed review, okay? The video spoken language is gonna be English. And of course, there's some others you can choose from if needed. So Spanish, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, AKA Brazilian, Dutch, Ukrainian, Russian, and Hebrew. And of course, if you need a file for a script, you can do that as well. But the cool thing about this is that it's pretty good when it comes to generating captions. Uh, just from a lot of testing myself, I'll notice that they'll say like right seed will be pronounced like R-I-G-H-T, but you can always edit that if needed. Nevertheless, let's click on continue. And from here, in order to enhance your video, you can choose to cut silences, which I definitely recommend. Cut bad takes, which if you're anything like me, I do so many bad takes. I'm not sure if you've seen any of my other videos. And despite the fact that the final thing looks kind of polished and sounds kind of polished, I can assure you after doing five, six, maybe seven videos a day, it's anything but that, especially as it gets later on in the day and my voice starts to sound like a zombie. You know what I mean, all right? There's also the jump cut zoom, which I think is gonna be a little bit better maybe if you're in front of the camera. I do a lot of screen recording, so I wouldn't be using that personally as much, but you might. Then there's gonna be the remove audio noise. For example, if my little toddler is gonna be screaming in the background or if the fan or the AC is on because I'm in Florida and it's blasting and it's making noise, that's something you might wanna utilize, but I'm gonna keep it as is. Let's click on enhance and edit edit. And just like that, it is going to take some time to prepare the file. And in the meantime, it's going to give you some tips here, which is going to be nice. So it's funny as, as it's loading, it's kind of like a tutorial for you. And with this, it's not all that difficult to use. And that's definitely a big thumbs up when it comes to Gling. Nevertheless, it's almost done. And when it is done, I will get back to you and show you the action and how it works. And there's an example of that where it says, did the AI get it wrong? Simply select the words and press backspace to cut slash unedit. Are you working with multiple cameras or a separate mic? You don't need to sync them before uploading them to Gling. Read more here. So pretty cool. There's some little tutorials, like I said. Anyway, once it's done, I'll get back to you again very quickly. All right, and so here we are gonna be on the inside of the editor, as you can see. And here's the cool thing, number of cuts, 119. Now, I don't know about you, really depends on how much you mess up when it comes to doing your videos. I do a good amount of times, at least 119. This video is around 17 minutes and it came out to be right around 13. So I actually did two cuts of this. I have it, one, well, one is in here and one I actually cut myself. And I think it ended up being like the high 12 minutes. So it's right around there. You know, I might've been a little bit more or I guess you could say analytical when it comes to doing it myself. I wanted to test it out just to kind of compare how much it would do. And just to say, getting down to 13 minutes, that means, that means removing about four minutes, a little bit over four minutes is fantastic. You're gonna notice also right here, this is gonna be a lot of the stuff that it took out. Now, normally when I start, I'll say something like testing. It didn't take that out, that's fine. What we can do here is just simply highlight it and we can do just like that. We have the scissors. So you'll notice how it's just not there anymore. So what means it's gonna start right here. And I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear it just because uh, I don't think I changed my mic settings yet or I'm not sure if I can hear it, but I'm just gonna play it and just so you can hear. 
Welcome to my right seed review. I can't hear. I'm not sure if you may or may not be able to, but the sound is there just to let you know. So here's an example of something where say it gets it improper. So it's called right seed, but they're not incorrect, right? That says right, that says seed. It is just a weird play on words. So what we can do is actually select that, highlight it and do correct. Oops, I have my there. So let's do that there. Let's do correct and we can just do right seed. This is only important, say, if you're gonna be doing the um, captions for this, so perfect. What we can do is go to AI Assistant. We have Titles Generator, we have Chapters Generator. We can also go to Enhance if needed. We have Smart Captions. We have the Jump Cut Zoom, which I'm recommending more if you have like, like I said, if you're the center of the video there and you wanna do some cool jump cuts, remove noise from audio, just done like that. I'm usually pretty good about when I do my microphones, but every now and then landscaping is going to come around. You know, maybe it's it's Florida I'm in, so there's maybe thunderstorms. Something might pick up in the background, so that's going to be an option. I'm going to go with quick, or excuse me, smart captions right here. It's going to take a little of load, but what it's going to do is going to create some nice captions that are pretty big for you on the actual video that go all the way through, which is always a cool thing. So I was going to say once it's done, but it is done. So as you can see, welcome to my right seed review. I'm just going to play and stop it. Welcome to my right seed as review. It goes through. Let me ask you a question. You know, let me ask you a question and so on and so forth. So there are going to be some times where it doesn't cut out. So it says like, so here's a, and I put that twice. So let's get rid of that one. Let's delete it. So I will say it's not perfect. I do so many AI reviews and like, I think some people sometimes get disappointed. They're like, how come it missed this one thing? And when you look at it, there's not a lot that it really missed. You know, AI is never gonna be 100% perfect or maybe it will one day. But if you look at this, <laughs> in fact, I love YouTube so much. In fact, I love YouTube so much. In fact, let's, I really screwed that up a lot, but you know what? It got all of that right, right there, as you can see. And then it went on to the actual correct aspect of it, okay? Going down, once again, that was a repeat of that. If you ever do that, just kind of giving you a tip, if you record a lot, like I said, say I was right here and I'm like, then there's 50 plus fine tune AI templates that you can, and I just like stopped, I messed it up. What I'll do is I'll stop, I'll break, I'll wait, and then I'll just repeat it again. Because normally when I you don't have something like this, you just see there's a huge empty space, like a gap, and you know that you messed up around there. But this is gonna solve that problem for you, right? As it goes through, it's gonna be removing a lot of these things that are unnecessary and so on and so forth. Let's see, for example, all right, so I'd actually lost my train of thought there. It's funny, while I'm doing this recording, like I'm screwing up, but you'll notice, say, like, if you wanted this to be here, what we can do is highlight this, and I can click on the scissors here, and it's gonna bring up a lot, and I can just click it again. And you're gonna notice it is now there. So that is now gonna be good. Plus there is the undo button. Just wanna showcase that. Like notice how it's highlighting everything and then this is just gone. So that's how you can actually add that in. You'll notice how it's getting rid of the us. I'm human, I say uh, a lot, okay? And it's nice that like you don't have to go through and look and listen for all the us since it has the transcript for you. Another really nice thing here. Okay, and continuing on. Let's see, there's more us removed and let's see. All right, now what I wanna do is that's, I'm just quickly scrolling through. I'm gonna go right here in this. Now you'll notice how right here, where it's showcasing wherever this is, if I slide down, you're gonna notice that there was a ton that it cut out. These are those big empty spaces. While you're not seeing anything, see, I'm gonna go right here. So this is around three minutes or so. And you'll notice, oops, let me go a, bit, a little further. I just want to showcase like what it removed. There's a lot of stuff that was removed here. So I said like, give me one second. And then this is great. Like you don't have to worry about these really big spaces here. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit more. So like if there's anything repetitive, see, and if you get, like I, I messed that up, it's supposed to be, and if you guessed, a lot of times my eyes have like a brain fart and I'll stop. I'm sure you're used to it, but it got rid of that. Okay. And then towards the end, it looked a little bit better. Uh, uh, remove that. Okay, because this is going to be talking about slicing. Okay, so once again, this was a repeat talking about slicing no more twice. It removed the first one. Okay, look at all the us it's removing. Fantastic. And look at this, but for an AI writer itself, but for an AI writer itself, but for an AI writer itself. Okay, and once again, I messed up the ending here, so I had to do it, and then I messed up the CTA, the call to action. So this did a fantastic job when it comes to going through and just taking all of that nonsense out. So this was something I had to remove, testing, and then so here's a, because it did it twice, 
And most of this aside from that was excellent, okay? So the biggest thing here is when you get your raw file is just inputting it in there. So you don't have to actually watch the whole video through because it'll go through and tell you where all the us are, right? It'll actually highlight them and remove them. Like it removes those blank spaces. A lot of the right here, that dead space time where maybe you were just like doing something in the background. For this, I had to get a chat GPT prompt. So pretty fantastic if you ask me. If you have any type of YouTube video or just video in general that you edit that's way more sophisticated than mine, I do some pretty simple screen shares like this. And if you're doing something where you're in front of the camera, where not only are you focused on getting the script right, or if you're just talking, getting talking right, but how you look, if your cat jumps on, where your laptop is, you gotta edit that. If you get a loud noise in the background, if people are making noise, like if the camera is on you, there's so much more you have to edit. And if you're doing more than me, I think it's gonna be even more valuable to you because there's a lot that this can really fix. Okay. So that's all in all some great stuff when it comes to this, just kind of doing my unboxing review. In case you're not familiar with it, an unboxing review is when I find, when I figure out that there's an awesome software, I'm like, oh, I want to test this out. As you can see, I just grabbed it. I did a couple myself and then I'm going through the process with you. Kind of like if you were new to it as well, just to kind of showcase where you would be when you get started. So that's my little definition of that. Nevertheless, let's talk a little bit more about the pricing when it comes to Gling.ai. All right, so here's a quick look at the Gling.ai pricing plans that they have basically for different needs and budgets. So whether you're a casual creator or a professional YouTuber, there's definitely a plan for you. So getting started off, just testing the waters, you can start for free where you get limited access to AI features, up to one hour of media processed and one free video export with all premium features, no premium support, which you only get with Pro. But getting started from there is gonna be $15 a month for the Plus, and Pro is gonna be $30 a month, of course, if you wanted to go with annually, it's going to be a little bit less, but that's going to be the annual payment. And as you can see, you're going to get a little bit more, plus the key features are going to be stacking up. So there's actually a good amount of them, even with the beginning one and, of course, the pro yeah, excuse me, with the plus in the middle. The only difference here is that when going on, you're just gonna be getting premium support. And of course, with Pro, you're also going to be getting the uh, up to 30 hours, which is gonna be the max amount in that one. So regardless, whether you wanna try it for free, always a good thing because you know it's great to test drive a software before getting started. And when it comes to upgrading, $15 a month is a pretty decent price if you ask me, especially if you compare that to actually sending it out to someone to do the video editing. It can save you a lot of money and a lot of time if that's something you're really doing a lot of, especially if you feel like you're pulling your hair out when it comes to edits, it can certainly help. So wrapping up this Gling AI review, there are several things you're going to love about Gling. It saves you time, it can enhance your video quality, and makes the editing process a breeze if you ask me. But it's not perfect, like a lot of the AI software tools that I review. You do need to download the software, which is expected, but I would love it for it to be in the cloud. That's just my personal opinion. And aside from that, there are gonna be some tiny little blips that it doesn't pick up on. For example, that testing in the beginning that I had to change, and there was another word after it that I maybe had done twice that it didn't pick up, but that's about two things. When you consider you're uploading the raw file and it's taking, for me, took out like four minutes of air and content and us and all this other stuff, there was only two things that it missed, I think that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. In summary, closing this Gling.ai review, I think it can possibly be a game changer for YouTubers looking to streamline their video editing process. It's efficient, it's user friendly, and it's pretty highly effective based upon my testing. So if this is something you're interested, I would definitely highly recommend at least giving it a try if you're looking to save time and improve your content effortlessly. So be sure to click the link in the description and try Gling.ai for free today. Thanks for checking out my Gling.ai review, and I hope you enjoy making remarkable YouTube videos effortlessly yours.